guys, welcome back to Swero TV. I'm Gorota Akbata, your host with the most. So guys, we are continuing with the tech series. Basically, this is advisory on uh, businesses, uh, basically general taxes for businesses. All right, it's not going to be specific to a particular business. And uh, just a disclaimer, remember this information that we're sharing. It is ex not exclusive for a particular business. It's not exclusive for a particular individual. This is general information that we normally do or share with our clients. So we thought we should also share with you so that you can just no, remember this is for you to know what your accountant is doing or what your tax consultant is doing, all right? And you need to also be able to ask these questions. As you are running a business, you need to know these things, all right? So today we're going to be talking about other withholding tax. There's other withholding tax is broad, all right? Um, there is other withholding tax for brokers, there is for commission, there's other withholding tax for construction, there's other withholding tax for farming, there is other withholding tax for royalties, for mines, so this one i'm not going to go specific for particular businesses all right i'm going to be doing the other withholding tax for general businesses that will affect general businesses if you need for specific business for instance mining or for instance construction feel free to contact us so that we help you with this kind of taxation um calculations or what do you need to do so today what we're sharing today is basically just general all right i don't know if you guys can hear the siren there's a siren going on outside but we're just gonna focus and just continue all right we can't con you can't control what's happening around the world all right around around our environment or what's happening so i think you guys can hear that so let's continue so today we're going to be talking about other withholding tax that affects general businesses there is other withholding tax rent there's other withholding tax for dividends. There's other withholding tax for entertainment as well. So those are the ones that I think can affect general businesses and what they mean and what you need to be doing. All right. So last week we talked about pay as you earn. Uh, that is also a withholding tax that you actually withhold from the employees who are earning more than 3,000 pula and above. And at the end of the tax year, you need to be doing an ITW8 for your employees and you give them so that they can also submit their individual taxes. We also talked about the end of year um, ITW9 that you need to be doing for the payers you earn at the end of the year for uh, it, that is actually due for at the 30 for, um, on the 31st of July which is this month yeah so you need to get on it as well so we are now going to be talking about other withholding taxes besides payers you earn today all right so I'm gonna start with the rental other withholding tax rental what does it mean it means as a tenant BRS has given you the authority to withhold 5% of your rental for as long as you are paying 3,000 pula and more to your landlord. All right. Landlords know about this. If you are a landlord and you're running a, a pro property business, trust me, they know that you should be withholding 5% of the rental. All right. So it is your responsibility as a tenant as a business for you to be withholding 5% of that rental. What do you do after withholding the 5% of the rental? You should be paying it to the URS on behalf of the landlord, all right? After you've actually paid it to BRS, there's a form that you fill, a return that you fill as well, and that return, it's also going to, there's a part that actually shows which withholding tax, so it's an other withholding tax um, return, which will be asking you which other withholding tax is this, and you're actually going to spend its rent, right? And you withhold 5% of this particular rental, and it will be rental before VAT, might just note that to be rental before VAT, not on levies, rental to uh, for the property itself. Remember, there's always rent, there's levies, and then there's VAT. So it's rental before VAT. All right, that's where you charge the five percent, and then you actually fill in the form and you put in the amount before the the, the VAT, and then you 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 write the five percent of that uh, that amount. Okay, then once you've done that, you're going to now. Take that form to get together with the proof of payments you submit to BRS. After you submit it to BRS, we're just going to return it to you, stamped that you've actually paid. You're going to take a part of that um, return and you give it to your landlord. 
all right so the other part that last week that we also forgot to mention when are the monthly um, payments to brs with other withholding tax as well as pay as you end which is a withholding tax as well they are all due on the 15th of the next month okay let's say for instance right now it's july okay now you are going to be paying rent for for july you're going to be paying rent for july maybe you paid it on the 30 on the 30th of june or you paid it on the 1st of july or the other withholding tax it's due on the 15th of July, okay? With um, another one that is for, for pay as you and if you've paid salaries on the 25th of June, for instance, and you withheld a part of those salaries and actually paid BRS, you need to be submitting the return by the 15th of July as well. So they're all due on the 15th of July, of the next month when you've actually paid on that particular, uh, the, the previous month for that particular month, okay? So, um, continuing on the rental, so you, then you will have submitted and you're now given that form to the landlord to prove that you've actually withheld and paid BRS because now they are also going to need to use it to show BRS that yes, our tenants did withhold and we have paid the tax. This, basically, this is just technically them paying the tax. Now, the question is why? Why does the BRS give tenants the authority or ask tenants to actually withhold a part of their rental? on behalf of the on their behalf or on behalf of the landlord to pay the taxes because that is a way to alert the tax men that yes there is a collection of rental that is being done by a particular person this is why it's a response it's all our responsibility as residents of the country or as we're running the business to also ensure that everybody is tax compliant so it is your responsibility to do that as well okay as much as just a responsibility to ensure that you withhold in on behalf of employees we are also going to be withholding on behalf of the landlord all right now what happens as well at the end of the year with this other withholding tax other withholding tax at the end of the tax year which is also due end of 31st of at the 31st of july you also need to be submitting an end of year return for other withholding tax so that you can also um uh they're just part of the the the, the process of BRS that you need to be doing the, the monthly returns and then the end of year returns as well just like pay and you also need to be doing it for your other withholding tax all right I hope I'm clear with the rental one and if you have any questions please ask me all right so we're going to get into the next other withholding tax what is the next other withholding tax entertainment fee now the entertainment fee is actually 10%, you withhold 10%, but the entertainment fee is for entertainment for non-residents, okay? Let me give you an example of how that one works. For instance, you hire a DJ from South Africa who has come into the country, or you've hired a, a personality from, um, from South Africa or from, I don't know, the US who's coming into the country and they actually charge you 10 million for instance, or they charge you a million or a hundred thousand, you need to be holding withholding 10% of that invoice of which you are going to do exactly the same as well. Pay VRS that 10% and then you're going to pay the entertainer the balance of the 10%, all right? And then the one once you've done that, you're going to pay VRS and you get the form and you give that entertainer that form to also be able to show on that side they can even claim it from that side on their brs or in that country that tax man in that country that yes i have paid tax as a non-resident in that particular country for entertaining in that particular country so that they don't have there they shouldn't be any double taxation for their income that they actually received from another country all right and then there's another um, withholding tax that will also affect you as a business, general business, it's called a dividends um, withholding tax, all right? The dividends withholding tax, whether whether whoever you are paying the, the, the dividends to is resident or non-resident, you have to withhold 7.5% of those dividends on behalf of BRS and you pay BRS the, 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 that 7.5% and then you give the shareholder the one that you're paying dividends to remember you give them that form that you filled and paid brs and brs has stamped and you give them that yes i have paid um 
BRF withheld 7.5% of your dividends and I've paid BRS as a declaration that I've paid you dividends. It is a role that you have to do um, as BRS has given us the authority to do this as different business owners or as different businesses as we are operating. Okay, I hope this was clear. This is it for today. This will today we've actually just to summarize it, we've discussed other withholding tax rent, other withholding tax entertainment fee, and um, other withholding tax dividends. Okay, these are the ones that will ge generally just will affect businesses on a general. All right, and I've mentioned that there are different types of other withholding tax. We also have for construction, for farming, for royalties, for as well as for brokers of commission. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, did I mention mining? Yes, and as well as livestock. So these are, you know, those ones in particular, it's for particular businesses. So I cannot, I do not want to go into them. I want you to be able to, if you're a farmer or you want to go into mining or whatever, or you're a broker, you need to understand how that works. This is when you can actually visit us or visit any tax consultant or any accounting firm or if you have an accountant, they should be dealing with that for you, okay? Bye for now. I wish you all the best in everything that you do. I hope today was as um, informative as the other videos I normally are. Alright, bye for now and I wish you the best in everything.